I've put a lot of things in my life on hold to produce this video, ending up with nearly 110 pages of a manuscript which details as much of what I can. But I'm also continually uncovering more segments to the story and hearing more and more voices that come forward to speak their side of things. Interviews, questionnaires, screenshots, the works. Hello everyone, and today we are talking about Illuminati once again. Her unhinged behavior has not stopped since my last video. In fact, things have gotten much worse. It is likely a surprise to no one who knows about Illuminati that she has not changed. She is in fact still going after Oz Media. My last update saying she sent a cease and desist letter to his father's house when she knows his address because they used to live together. And after Wonder's video came out, she hit him with a cease and desist letter. She also sent one to Oz Media and Oz Media's family. So to me, this is just more attempted intimidation. Oz has just dropped a video a few days ago explaining why his very long video that he's been working on is going to be delayed. Howdy everyone, I'm Oz in the flesh. No cartoon avatar this time. I need to make everyone aware, for reasons that I hope this update will make clear, for my safety, I need to put a short and temporary pause on production of my video on Illuminati. The video will still of course be produced. I just need to put things on a lower burn and return to regular content for the time being. For many reasons. As most of you may remember, Illuminati likes to use lawsuits. She likes to push her weight around legally because she has no other means, which is why Oz Media started a GoFundMe as well as Wonder. Illuminati has taken this to a legal front, using the courts because of how poorly things went for her on the internet. As a reminder, for those of you unaware, Illuminati started a fight with a lawyer on Twitter, accused him of copying her style, which then led to other content creators and past collaborators speaking out about their past interactions with her. Illuminati is the one who took this off of Twitter and brought it onto YouTube, where she would then post a suicide note of one of her former employees for the world to see as an attempted own. Oh yes, let us not forget how this all started. Her accusing Legal Eagle's team of stealing her style, her editing style. They really, really simple things like the highlight effect and the paper rip effect. This is what made her entire career collapse and the mask fall. I've put a lot of things in my life on hold to produce this video, ending up with nearly 110 pages of a manuscript which details as much of what I can. And let me tell you something, converting this monstrosity into a video with its accompanying half thousand screenshots has been one hell of a monumental task for me, a one person team to embark on. I want to get everything right, or more of I need to. And this I can absolutely understand, as someone who is also a one-person team, who likes to do their own research, getting everything accurate, it takes a long time. For full transparency, which will be explored more in my future video, Blair and I dated. We were a couple for a decent chunk of time. This puts me in an ungodly complicated situation of doing everything that I can to try and separate the relationship drama from the public drama, as in the process of dating her, there are a lot of things which I bore witness to. After everything that came out with Azothan, I can only imagine how horrendous that relationship was. I asked you a simple yes or no question. Were you talking ill of me to other content creators? I even said I didn't think you were. It was just the answer is no. no. I don't understand. But now it's I dodged it. Now it might change to a yes because now I'm gonna have to protect my ass because you wanna come at me sideways. What I can only describe as retaliation from the person who's my ex, former employer, and prior colleague, Blair is in the process of currently foreclosing my home. That's when Blair set my home to foreclose, right before Christmas. And yes. Blair has the power to set the foreclosure sale. Now, that is truly awful. I honestly have no doubts in my mind that he's telling the truth after what happened with Wonder. It was a similar situation. To recap, with Wonderstruck Guy, he, in fact, lived with Oz and Blair. Blair talked him into signing a contract 
for a, let's say around $60,000 car. He gave me a set of options as to what I could do with a car, and I picked option two, where it was agreed I would bring the car back to Colorado, gather my belongings, and I'd pay the value via regular payments, etc. Later in the early hours of July 29th, 2021, Blair flew down to obtain the BMW. Hours after I agreed to pay for the car's appreciation value under the condition that I was paying what was accurate and visible to me. She took a plane, I believe he was in Texas and she was in Colorado, and took the car while he was asleep at night. Big red flag. I've lived the last four months of my life with the looming threat of Blair's retaliation. To me, it feels like Blair is taking every course of action that she can to prevent this video from being produced. From legal threats to trying to take my home, which wouldn't be surprising. Considering Blair's alleged white collar crimes I intend to expose with evidence within my video. No secret, Blair is a very shady person. And it does not surprise me that he has allegations of white collar crimes. Especially, going back to the car, nothing about that whole situation sounded legal. But I'm also continually uncovering more segments to the story and hearing more and more voices that come forward to speak their side of things. Interviews, questionnaires, screenshots, the works. I'm not stopping this because of her retaliation. While she did successfully give me pause, I do fully intend to complete this video. I'm gonna call it now, but when Oz's video drops, it's over. I mean, over, over. Cause she hasn't stopped up until this point. Well, because she's not behind bars. But if his allegations are what I believe them to be, it's over. All the terrible things she's done is going to catch up with her. Karma is real. Now, let's talk about how Blair is even able to foreclose on me. What put her in a position of power beyond a landlord? A mortgagee, which in my eyes is something even worse. As a quick note, Blair's name is not on any of the original documents related to my home. As I briefly stated previously, Blair and I dated. We started when I was 20 and she was 28. And currently, I'm 23 almost 24. Now to put it in perspective, Oz was 20 years old when this person was almost 30. I am a little bit older than Oz. I'm 24 now. I do not really like huge age gaps in relationships. I believe that breeds some sort of power dynamic and especially with Blair being a pretty famous YouTuber. She had the age, the experience, and on top of that, the money, and she leveraged everything against him. In the beginning, Blair walked me into several poor financial decisions. My naivety caused me to believe her reassurances that I could handle all of the financial obligations being dropped onto my shoulders by someone more experienced in life than I was. Why these obligations were placed onto me? At the time, Blair had bad credit, so all of the purchases, loans, everything was being placed in my name. This included the car that she purchased then revoked from Wonderstruck. I was on the loan as a co-signer only because of my credit at the time. Eventually though, the financial responsibilities that I incurred would stack up on me, building a mountain of monthly debt that would lead me into several financially tight months and eventually just breaking. Just when you think this woman can't get any more evil, it just keeps getting worse just when you think it can't. She royally screwed both of these guys financially, who were much younger than she was. This would lead me to asking Blair, my partner, for financial help. Financial help for things such as my home, which she was living in. Help from my partner, who at any given time would be making up to 30 times my monthly income. These amounts of assistance would be added to a ledger of debt. That number ballooned higher and higher, the number ever increasing, and I never questioned it out of guilt for needing help. Guilt from her telling everyone, from her friends to my friends, to her employees, to hell, even her Discord staff, about my finances. Guilt involving the fact that everyone I interacted with on a day-to-day -day basis looked down on me for her words towards me. My own partner, the person who was supposed to be my other half, was actively putting me in a position where she was chipping away at my mental health. How does someone like this exist? Someone so evil 
and all documented. She's had everything she could ever really want. She got successful on YouTube the way she wanted to, but on the backs of other people. I was afraid to tell anyone what was happening because she had convinced me that I was a parasite. Something to note, when you're around Blair, your world revolves around her. In my case, my home was hers, despite her name not being on it. I had no friends out in Colorado, a state that I moved to at the behest of Blair. I wasn't allowed to be friends with people she didn't like, such as Click and One Topic. I was even in a position where my finances were nearly entirely controlled by her, from what debts I took on, to later being the fact that she was the person who signed my paychecks. All while my world was painted to me in a light where I should be grateful for her generosity. She will get her way, one way or another, in some dirty, conniving, underhanded way. Illuminati is an actor. She has financially and emotionally abused all of her partners, from what I understand, and anyone who's ever lived with her. Wonder, Oz, Azothan, as well. He said that she mostly paid for everything, but she held it over his head, just like with Oz. I don't want them to discuss, but I am tired of having you slander my f***ing name. Because God knows why, because you're bitter about a f***ing breakup because your cash cow left you. Like, f*** off, John. Hell, I even took a position in her company at a lower pay to try and pay this debt back. Offered to work with her in her crypto farm for free to pay back the debt. I was able to assist in the push for Blair's channel to make the sudden and stark rise into a new payout range of six figures a month, all while I was being paid not even enough to get by with my monthly bills. And Blair was very aware of my finances. She is a narcissistic control freak. I don't believe that she's gone into any relationship without some back door, without something to hold over them. NDAs, just anything she can use as leverage. Blair, being the person who signed my checks, knew that I couldn't afford legal representation. Blair also knew that the two and a half thousand dollars that she was having me pay monthly towards that debt was almost as much as I was making monthly working for her. This would mean that I could barely pay for anything else in my life other than the debt that I owed her. Like he said, she was very aware of his finances. Why would you make him pay a monthly payment? That's as much as he makes with your company. She dug him a hole that she thought he could never get out of. Everything I made working for her was going right back into her pocket. Blair would bring me to her lawyer's office, put me in a room alone with the two of them, with papers in front of me. Papers which I foolishly signed for a myriad of reasons ranging from Blair expressing that this would mend our relationship, that it was the right thing for me to do, that this would also protect her legally and prevent her from getting into trouble with the IRS. She essentially explained to me that because she used company funds to assist me, that she had committed embezzlement. She knew exactly what she was doing at that time. She knew how much money he had and that she would one day foreclose his house even before they were officially probably even broken up she wanted more control i wasn't aware of the power that this document held what it does what it allowed her to do this document gave her the power to foreclose if i was unable to make a monthly payment of nearly 2500 dollars for nearly a decade Blair knew that even with my income working for her, that this wasn't possible. If the home is foreclosed or if I decide to sell, Blair gets an immediate payout. And if you're looking for an easy point of evidence, as you can see with Wonder, Blair has a habit of taking advantage of younger men, eight years younger than her, and their financial illiteracy for her own personal gain. For further future transparency, I intend to provide updates with my GoFundMe, which will include progress updates and invoices when applicable. And I felt that this update was more than deserved for everyone who's been here so far. Thank you all. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on this situation as it unfolds. I'm very eager to see the video when it comes out on Blair. It's huge and she knows it. She's going to use anything she can to stop this. And once again, I will say, do not trust people on the internet. You never know who they really are, but 
that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I want to say thank you to all my channel members. It does mean a lot to me you are supporting the channel. If you'd like to become a member, you click the join button down below. I do plan to be streaming again soon, so you'll have that exclusive content soon. And I will see you all next time. Bye!